Before we go much further into what exactly is a flip classroom, let us just get an idea of what these videos which are to be used in a flip classroom model looks like. So what, what sort of videos do instructors create? Typically videos are 10 to 20 minute lectures on one concept. So videos may include slides, they may include audio, they may include some annotation or they may include writing on tablet or screen capture of an application. There are many, many such videos that can be seen on the web. So here we have stated some sites where you can find these videos. Okay, so this is a video from Khan Academy and it's on Pythagoras theorem. And we are simply taking a topic which is from high school level. Let's now talk about what is easily one of the most famous theorems in all of mathematics, and that's the Pythagorean theorem. Pythag, Pythagorean theorem. Theorem. And it deals with right triangles. So a right triangle is a triangle is a triangle that has a 90 degree angle in it. So the way I drew it right here, this is our 90 degree angle. If you've never seen a 90 degree angle before, the way to think about it is if this side goes straight left to right, this side goes straight up and down. These sides are perpendicular, or the angle between them is 90 degrees, or it is a right angle. And the Pythagorean theorem tells us that if we're dealing with a right triangle, let me write that down. If we're dealing with a right, right triangle, not a wrong triangle, if we're dealing with a right triangle, which is a triangle that has a right angle or a 90 degree angle in it, then the relationship between their sides is this. So if this side is A, this side is B, and this side is C. The back, and remember, the C that we're dealing with right here is the side opposite, is the side opposite the 90 degree angle. It's important to keep track of which side is which. The Pythagorean te theorem tells us that if and only if this is a right triangle, then a squared plus b squared is going to be equal to c squared. So this was a glimpse of what happens in one of these videos. We mean, we are sure that you all have seen such videos on the net. And the key idea about a flip classroom video is, such a video is created very specifically for short duration. So about 10 to 20 minutes or maybe sometimes even a 5 minute video or rarely beyond 20 minute videos. Okay, so that is a flip classroom video. And in that one concept is explained, the basic idea like what we just now saw was the basic idea of Pythagoras theorem of a square plus b square is equals to c square where a and b are the two sides. That is what happens in the video and then what happens in the classroom itself is again an interesting point. Now the content that the student have watched is given some context. So often in the classroom, the instructor will pick some real world scenario. So for example, if you were the instructor, you might pick up an actual a building whose height you want to estimate or some such mechanism, some such real world scenario wherein you want to apply the Pythagoras theorem in order to solve a problem. As a result of which, students are now actively engaged in problem solving and critical thinking beyond the traditional course. So the students are not coming to your classroom to hear you say that a square plus b square is equals to c square. On other hand, students are coming to classroom to work out on the problems which deepens their understanding of Pythagoras theorem. So what do we mean by deepens the understanding is that they are able to apply it in various scenarios. They are able to analyze problems and see whether it is a problem of Pythagorean theorem and so on. So the other advantage of flipped classroom activities are that students are now 
engaged to ask exploratory questions and delve beyond the core curriculum and they can be transformed from passive listeners to active learners so this is the big advantage and why is this a big advantage because we already know we have seen in the previous sessions that active learning has great deal of benefits so just to recall what is an active learning in active learning the instructor creates carefully designed activities that require students to talk write reflect and express their thinking and students go beyond listening copying of notes and execution of prescribed procedures so students actually take ownership of their learning and we know that the benefits of active learning are that students are actively engaged with the content and learn from each other it builds friendly yet academic atmosphere in the classroom and most importantly it includes all the students in the teaching learning process and not just those students who are highly self motivated or who are high achievers in the particular classroom so the key idea of flipped classroom and active learning is that a classroom with instructor and peers present in more useful for student to apply their learning rather than listening to information transmission and asking clarifications so the point here that is being made is that it is not that information transmission is not important information transmission is also important but the time that the students spend with the instructor and the peers is better spent in students learning to apply the knowledge that they have gained in the information transmission rather than simply listening to the information transmission so the important thing is in a flipped classroom the in class time can be devoted to tasks that promote active learning strategies since this information transmission part of the class happens before the student come to the class